Hi, welcome back to One on One HIM Scholar, future junior healthcare data analyst. Today we will be discussing course seven and course eight of the Google Data Analytics Certificate Program. This video is the last video out of a three video playlist available on my channel where I share with you my experience with the Google Data Analytics Certificate Program available on Coursera. Let's begin where we left off in video number two and discuss course seven. Course seven introduces R, which is a programming language used for a statistical analysis, visualization, and other data analysis. I was completely new to computer programming, but I was very excited to learn about R. This course gave me the opportunity to learn about R and practice using R in R Studio. R Studio is a free interactive development environment for programming in R. The surprising thing about R is that it could really do it all. As a data analyst, R provides functionality and flexibility. R includes packages that are defined as a unit of reproducible R code. I learned that Tidyverse and ggplots are two packages that can be used during the six phases of the data analysis process. Tidyverse can help the data analyst perform data manipulation, exploration, and visualization. ggplots is a package in Tidyverse that creates a variety of data visualizations by applying different visual properties to the data variables in R. The cool thing about packages is that they include code created by other data analysts that can be used by any data analyst by just installing and downloading the package. I really enjoyed learning about how data analysts are eager to share their code with other data analysts. The data analytics community thrives on helping new members succeed, and that is awesome. The platform Kaggle.com is a clear example of this. This course also touched on R Markdown, which is a file format for making dynamic documents with R, and R Notebook, which lets users run your code and show the graphs and charts that visualize the code. R Markdown and R Notebook are extremely useful when documenting code and visualizations and report formats. This course focuses on the importance of having a portfolio as a data analyst in order to showcase your abilities to potential employers. This course also includes a capstone project with two tracks that are meant to give you the opportunity to showcase your new skills as a data analyst. Track one gives you two cases to choose from, and track two gives you the opportunity to create a case study from scratch. At the end of this course, you will also have the opportunity to enroll in additional career services or employment platforms. Now that I have finished my review of the eight courses that make up the Google Data Analytics Certificate Program and I have earned my certificate, here are my final thoughts on the program. Would I recommend this program? Yes, I would recommend this program. I definitely learned a lot. I do believe this program gave me the opportunity to establish a pretty good foundation in this field. This program will definitely be relevant and help me a lot in the upcoming semester as I complete a class in healthcare data analytics as part of my bachelor's degree program in health information management. Was this program worth my time and money? Yes, it was. I do believe my time and money were well spent. I only paid for the Coursera membership for two months at a rate of $39 per month. My grand total for the certificate program was $78. But please keep in mind, I finished this program in eight to nine weeks, including the free seven day trial offered when you first sign up for the program on Coursera. Will I need to expand my knowledge and continue my education in data analytics? Yes, most definitely. This program was a good introduction to data analytics the responsibilities of a data analyst and the skills and tools a junior data analyst is expected to know once on the job. This program did a good job of showing the student how to complete data analytic activities using their own platforms such as Google Sheets and BigQuery, but if I want to pursue a career in healthcare data analytics, I most likely will need more specialized training in Microsoft Excel, MySQL, and Python to name a few. 
Thank you so much for watching this video, which is video number three out of a three video playlist available on my channel. I hope you have learned a lot. I hope I have spiked your interest in data analytics and how it relates to health information management via the Google Data Analytics Certificate Program. If you have any questions about this video, any suggested video topics, or the HIM field in general, please feel free to contact me via my contact information, which is listed in the description below. Thank you so much for watching One-on-One -on -one HIM Scholar, where we discuss all things HIM and more. See you soon.